Joining me now is former Secretary of State Mike Pompeo. Um, great to see you as always, sir. And, and I do think that was the perfect setup because I've been speaking to some people who have knowledge of what is supposed to happen on this trip. And they have told me that it's absolutely chaotic right now. The agenda really isn't set. He doesn't know exactly what he's going to say. Obviously, you can't write on the agenda, you know, I want to beg you for some extra oil to help <laughs> us here at home. And so I'm wondering with your experience and uh, a knowledge of sort of what happens between uh, behind these closed door meetings, what you think is going to happen there. Well, Jackie, thanks for having me on. Yeah, uh, hat in hand, he's going to beg for oil from the guy he said he was going to make a pariah. Uh, this is exactly how American foreign policy fails under the leadership of President Biden, or frankly, the absence thereof. Look, he's just got it wrong. He should have been drilling here at home. We should have been producing American energy. We did it for four years. We demonstrated we could be energy dominant in the world. And then we found our friends in the region, the Emiratis, the Kuwaitis, the Omanis, the Saudis, who were on our side against the Ayatollah, who's trying to kill Americans, who's trying to kill Europeans, who's trying to wipe Israel off the face of the earth. No, this administration, it doesn't surprise me, Jackie, that there's infighting inside the Biden administration. Uh, the green climatologists, uh, the radical uh, Iran lovers who've been trying to put us back in that deal with Iran, they are all at war with him taking this trip that is so necessary for the United States to deliver good, sound, more stable, more prosperous Middle East that keeps our young boys and girls from having to go fight there. Yeah, a couple of issues to drill down on here. Obviously, this issue of, you know, doing more at home. He's made it very clear he's not going to do that. He's not going to reverse course um, on his energy policy because he would have to answer to the far left for that. Yet, he's going here to have this conversation. He's going to be talking to the king of Saudi Arabia, also the crown prince, uh, known as MBS, and also credited with and believed to have ma been the master mind behind the brutal murder of Jamal Khashoggi. I mean, what kind of message does this send internationally? His foreign policy has been a disaster, and it keeps getting worse. Yes, it's, it's dangerous. It began with 13 Americans killed in Afghanistan. We then saw Putin decide he could invade Ukraine on President Biden's watch. Uh, and now the Middle East more at risk as well. Iran, according to the Biden administration, now just weeks away from having a nuclear weapon or, excuse me, a, a nuclear in, a nuclear enrichment sufficient that they could build a nuclear weapon. Uh, this is a foreign policy that puts Americans at risk. It's so connected, Jackie, to the way we live here at home. He wants to blame someone else for high energy prices when, in fact, these were policy choices that the Biden administration, Biden administration made. It was unnecessary. I think many are happy about it inside the Biden administration. Mm -hmm. High gas prices is something that they actually relish because it may drive us to their vision for American energy. It's bad for every family inside the United States of America. I think you're 100 percent right. I say that they had a clear agenda when they started. And um, this is great because now you have people having the conversation, regular Americans who are saying, well, gas prices are so high. I should go get an electric vehicle if I could afford one. Right. The average price of an electric car is pretty <laughs> expensive. Um, but that's what they want people to think. They want them to think that it was their own idea to, you know, to go electric or, or whatever the case may be. Um, but you mentioned Iran, which is really important because, you know, I mean, um, as we heard in that soundbite, you've got him going to Saudi Arabia. He wants to get oil from Iran. He wants to get it from Venezuela. All the bad actors on the global stage, he wants to bring them back in the fold when we did so much work to, to eradicate them and put them in their place. <laughs> Goodness, uh, he should be traveling to Midland, Texas, and to the Bakken Shale, and to Western Pennsylvania, all the places where we've got American energy. What we did for four years in our administration, we delivered affordable energy uh, while putting pressure on the Iranians. We took three million barrels of oil off the marketplace when we sanctioned Iran, and the price went down. That was good policy. It was good planning. It was excellent execution. The American people deserve every bit of that. And frankly, the Biden administration has got it wrong on both ends, both yeah. on the supply end and on the demand side. Secretary, I can't get over the Monmouth poll last week that said 88 percent of respondents and Americans said that they think the country is headed, you know, on the wrong track. That, that is a huge number. And I think these people are thinking about gas prices. They're thinking about high food prices when they go to the grocery store. They're thinking about how they survive in these difficult economic times, paying over $5,000 a year extra, essentially in tax for the higher cost of goods. Um, do these issues stick when people go to the polls? Absolutely. This is how Americans are talking when they're talking to their friends at their kids' soccer game or when they're at church with their co-parishioners. This is what they're talking about. They're talking mm -hmm. about how life is just more expensive. Uh, young people trying to buy their first home now having interest rates that are roughly double what they were just months ago. None of this had to be, Jackie. This is politically yeah. driven. This is intentional and can be fixed with the right leadership. And I hope in November America will begin to head back down that path and get the right leadership in Washington. I hope you're right. Mike Pompeo, great to see you. Thank you so much.
Thank you, Jackie. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.